let's get going with changing the world one step at a time. And that is what we're talking about today, how we can help change the world one step at a time, taking our students on a journey to change the world, to be able to make a difference and to become change makers. Hello there, Susanna. Uh, lovely to see you. Thanks for the greetings and the hellos uh, from, from all over the world, which is absolutely fantastic. So let's get started. A little something about me. I like flags. That's my favorite flag. If there's anybody here from, uh, from the Marshall Islands, a big hello to you. I like secondhand shirts, as you can see. Um, and I founded Renewable English, as we've talked about before. Uh, you can find us on uh, on Instagram. You can find us the website on renewableenglish.com, all over the place. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. Um, we are here to talk about change makers. Change makers. I hear you saying, what is a change maker? Let me know. What do you think a change maker is? What do you think a change maker is? What could it be? To make the world a better place. I like that. New opportunities. Okay. Someone who promotes change. I like that. That's a good one. New ideas, new ways. Now, the one I... I, I I most like, I don't know if I most like it. One of the, the ones I use a lot is someone who is taking creative action to solve a social problem. So you are making, doing something creative to solve a problem, to solve an issue. Could be an influencer, absolutely. A person who promotes new opportunities. And again, it's this idea of creativity. It doesn't have to be drawing or painting or writing or singing. It's just a creative way to solve a problem. So let's have a look at a few change makers from history. How many of these change makers do you recognize? How many? What do you think? Oop, oop. Took it up the screen there, didn't I? My overly sensitive mouse. Just like me, overly sensitive. We've got quite a few really good guesses in here already. Okay, well, I'm going to get right on with it. I'm going to jump on and I'm going to show you. Um, we have, oh, yes, the human computer, Catherine Johnson. Brilliant. Well done, somebody in there. We've got Edward Jenner who discovered the vaccine when he vaccinated people for smallpox with cowpox. The word vaca is uh, Latin for cow. Vaccination comes from the word for cow. There you go. So Isaac Newton, who invented gravity. No, he didn't invent gravity. We weren't floating around before him. But he did make change and discover a lot of other things as well. Rosa Parks, um, who refused to sit at the back of the bus, a huge um, civil rights activist. Catherine Johnson, who helped humankind get to the moon. Uh, Sir Thomas Crapper, whose company invented the flushable toilet. Emily Wilding Davidson who was um, a suffragette. She threw herself in front of the king's horse to fight for the boat for women. And Abraham Lincoln, of course, um, who ended uh, slavery with the Emancipation Proclamation. Um, and I just got a message from, from my wife uh, there saying that, that she's also tuning in as well. So a big hello to him. Um, now, how about these change makers? How many of these do you recognize? Hmm. Oh, we've got one, Harry, of probably really released. So we've got Jane Goodall there. Of course, we've got Malala. Excellent. Maybe you also recognize Sir Dave, the nation's favorite grandpa. Um, we've got Clover Hogan, who is a huge, huge um, voice uh, in terms of eco-anxiety. We've got Fionn Ferreira, who is uh, an inventor and has discovered a way to remove microplastics from water. We've got Sammy from Sammy's Buddy Bench, who likes to talk about kindness, but also recycling. We've also obviously got Jane Goodall and Sir David Attenborough. And we've got Kids Against Plastic who are fighting to remove plastic and also empower youth. We've got Malala, of course, huge on women's rights, and then Rise Recycling, who's big on recycling. But anyway, these are just eight massive change makers out in the world today of 
the millions that are out there. There are millions. There could be billions. And we hold the key to making that happen. Now, one of the big keys in this is this question. What it is change makers world? What is change makers world? Mysterious, mysterious. What could it be? Hmm. Who knows? But I'm guessing we're going to find out pretty soon. Change Makers World is a website, it's a hub, it's a place to find ideas, to be inspired on how we can make change in our classrooms, how we can make change in the world. Now something I love about this is that emphasis that we are looking for dreamers, doers, makers, thinkers, singers, actors, poets, inventors, photographers, video makers, sculptors, storytellers, painters, rappers, coders, writers, educators, everybody who can make a difference can come here to Change Makers World and share their ideas with other people. It is not a competition. It is not a project. It is a hub of inspiration where you can come and find ideas for your classes, for your students, to go out into the world and make a difference. We can see it is a part of the wider umbrella of advancing futures where we're here, where McMillan we're looking to to empower our students and to make a difference to educate for sustainability and for um, global citizenship and all of these under this wonderful branch and so many people saying teachers there yes teachers are the ultimate change makers because we as i mentioned before hold the key to unlocking change making in all of our students and there's a big focus of course on the sustainable development goals um, I, as a teacher, I absolutely love, 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 love this framework. It's an amazing way to help our students find the passion that will drive them to their change-making destiny. You know, perhaps not everybody wants to be an environmental activist like me. I mean, it would be great if they did. There are other people who are, you know, interested in other social justice issues and Change Makers World looks at those other issues. It looks at DEI. It looks at global citizenship. I'm going to focus on the sustainability side of things, if that's okay with you. But there are so many other aspects that we can do that we can look for. Teachers do have the power in the classroom to make a difference. Now, before we have the big reveal, the big reveal of changemakersworld.live, we will have a quick look. And a wonderful video all about change makers world i'm going to get rid of this so you can concentrate on this tell me if you can't hear the sound and i'll make sure i share it properly hey listen up let's get together what can we do to make the world better start by looking around you what can you see? Can things be better for you and me? New journey awaits, where little by little, step by step, you will learn that everyone can help. We are calling all thinkers, dancers, dreamers, singers, those who can write code, a poem, or known, those who can sculpt, paint, rap, photograph. Share your voice and have your say. Get your friends together. Create and play. Be a part and share your part. Do something fun. Do something smart. And once you're ready, share it too with a community just like you. Tell them your story. Tell them your dream. What would you change? What would you keep? And do you know what's also cool? That you can see their ideas too. Watch learn read interact and explore everything you want in the change makers world change makers it's the place to be for curious minds like you and me are you ready now let's go your teacher will tell you all you need to know and remember together we will always be the coolest change making community change makers be a part, share your part. Join now. I think we can all agree and looks pretty awesome. So I will I'm gonna do a drum roll here. 
I can't keep doing the drum roll if I'm going to change my screen as well. So I do a two fingered drum roll. So we jump over to Change Makers Live. That was that was the trumpet there, obviously. Um, I'm not great at doing vocal instruments. So we could have a look here at Change Makers World, and I welcome you all to Change Makers World. And as it says, it's a world of dreams, ideas, and actions for a better future. Uh, and we can look further down the screen, and we can see that there are lots of other options where you can. Uh, you can go to the Advancing Futures page. You can go to all of the other sites on Macmillan. So they're all there. They're all available. You can find your way and you can click through them and look at all these different ideas that we have. All there, all available for everybody, completely free. And again, this is not a project. This is not a competition. This is the home for everybody to share their ideas. There is no end date. You do not have to send in something brand new. You can send in something a little older to, you know, that you've done in the past that you can share on here. And it is new. So we do need as many contributions as possible to inspire everybody across the world. So how would you like to help your students have their say and get creative? You know, why would you take part in this? Why? What's in it for you? Other than, hmm, let's have a look. We can advance our students' futures. You can enhance your very own portfolio. Now, raise your hand here if you're not interested in certificates. Hmm, that's what I thought. 1,500 people are all interested in certificates. We always get them for our webinars. Well, for you, when you do this, you will get your own certificate as a teacher, as a school, and as a student, simply by uploading your wonderful ideas and sharing them with the world. You will have that. Your students will have that, and they will be able to keep that with them and it will empower your students. I've watched my students, I've watched my own daughter growing into this empowered young nine-year-old. So much so that she will be the youngest ever speaker at the World Retail Congress in April. Watching these students grow and build from these small ideas. And it is one step at a time. They see one small idea, another small idea, another small idea. And it builds and it grows and it becomes something so wonderful to see. Um, just to watch our students grow with this experience. And, you know, what about our students? You know, what can they have a look at on the website? They can see all of these other ideas. But also, really importantly, they can find out what kind of change maker they are. What kind of change maker do they want to be? Do they want to discover new things? Do they want to learn by doing? Be creative, communicate with others in English, work with others, work on their own. They want to be heard. What are they? How do they want to share their ideas with the world? It's up to us as teachers to show them, to help them, to guide them to that. And how can we do that? Well, we can do that with this wonderful hub. We can look at other contributions from other classes, from other students around the world. There are all different ideas on there. We've got a few here for now to have a look at. For example, My World. We've also got To Save the Earth. And we can see by, by people here in China. Um, there's lots of images available. Um, let's see if this one works. Here we go. I'm crossing my fingers for it to open. Yes, it works. Um, so as simple as this, an image of what you are doing to separate and recycle, reuse paper. All of these ideas that your students have, bring them along. Share them with us. Share them with other people. When your students see that their image has been shared with people across the globe, when they see other people using those ideas and sharing their ideas and building on their ideas, it will give them that power. It will push them that step further. And it's really, really, really easy to upload your ideas. Now, I'm crossing my fingers that this is going to work. This is a blackout poetry session that the word Gilea did um, with uh, some of his students in, in Yorkshire. So it's simple. You put in your title. You select what area. Is it global citizenship? Is it sustainability? Is it DEI or is it other? And then a very short description. What we did was take an article about the climate crisis. We blacked out some of the text. Um, the remaining text made a poem. We then decorated our poems. And it's a wonderful way to analyze a text and be creative. My name, of course, is Harry Waters. My email address is Harry at renewableenglish.com my class's name is renew oh, 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 
renewable kids, let's call them for now. They're young learners. Next step in is renewable English is the school name. We are in Valencia in Spain. And there we go. Then one more step here. All I then need to do is upload the files of what I'm talking about. So I'm crossing my fingers that it goes to the right page here. Here we go. Here's the blackout poetry. I'm going to upload that there. I'm going to upload it as a cover image as well. The blackout poetry there. Here we go. On to the next step. Check all your details are right. There we go. Looking through it there. Do I agree? Of course I agree. There are community rules. You can have a look at those. Am I a robot? I'm pretty sure I'm not a robot. That's what a robot would say. I'm sure of it. All good to send. Boom. I send it. It goes off. It's checked by the wonderful people at Macmillan. And as soon as it's been checked and looked at, it will come up onto the site. So in a few hours, I'm absolutely certain it will be up on the site. And I'm going to scroll the contributions there are already. We can see a few here. Here's the Save the Earth, lovely. Um, we also have My World and My Friend. We have Preserving Eco Environmentalists. And then, oh, what's that? It's the Climate March. Here's one I made earlier. ta -dun! This one is one that I made with my renewable kids. And we, we shared some ideas. And I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to tell you what. I tell you what. I'll share these very ideas with you. Right now. Over here. Back on the, the page. But before I do, I want to show you these delightful certificates. You've got them for your school. You've got them for uh, you as a teacher. And then we have one signed by me um, for the students. So when you upload that, you will receive these and they can go in your portfolios. But I hear you thinking, oh, but what do I do? What do I share? I just don't know, Harry. Would you mind giving me some fresh ideas? I tell you what, I've got a few right here. What? Number one, poetry, rap, um, stories. I've got a rap for you that I'm not going to do yet, but you'll be able to find it soon. Um... Do a protest march. This is the protest march that I've uploaded there, a climate march. It was organized by these three wonderful individuals. And um, they organized it within the town. And um, there were a few hundred people went on it. We made signs. We made song. You know, so you're practicing all this language there. And they're going out there. They're influencing adults as well. You can go on a litter pick. Look, I had children as young as three on litter picks. They came along. We talked about the history of plastic bottles. We talked about all of the other ideas like that come with plastic. We talked about every individual piece of litter that we found and then we logged it all on an amazing website. Books, read books, share your book review. Um, club, start an eco club, share your eco club. Have a book club, combine the two. Read this wonderful book. It's all about being climate clever. Um, it's from the wonderful Kids Against Plastic. I love those guys, they're incredible. Um, Read a book, write a review about it, upload the book review. Have an art exhibition. The Rittick is here. Rittick held this exhibition. He is one of the greatest teachers I've ever connected with working in India. This is one of his students. Hemat did this. All of these wonderful pieces of art. You have creative students on shore, but they all have their different areas of creativity. This is art plain and simple art, you know, these are wonderful art pieces that you can then exhibition to people across the world. You can do workshops, talk about recycling ideas, bring in all your trash and throw it on the floor and get your students to put it away. Work with it, learn with your students, because one of the issues here is we don't know everything as teachers, but we can learn while we are doing it. We can build what we know. We can continue to learn and grow with our students. Now I know time is running out, but I did start a few minutes late, so I've got a few more minutes. Plants and gardens. If you can't plant a full garden, which you can't always do, by the way, look closely at that lettuce. Look very closely at that lettuce and remember it. You'll see it again soon. You can't all plant a garden. 
I know that not everybody has the kind of outlet to do that, but you can have a plant in your classroom. You can plant basil. You know, you can plant a uh, golden potters. You can put sticks of bamboo in the grow, and you can have students go along. They can watch them grow. They can have, they can propagate them. They can grow even more. There are so many things you can do with plants, and it's a way to connect nature to your classrooms and your classrooms to nature. It decreases CO two, it increases O two, and it makes your class a happier place to live. There are all sorts of different things you can upload. Um, and they'll, they'll keep in touch with all the different things you can have. Upcycle things. This we made during the pandemic. We still play with it at home today. You can make toys. You can make art. You can make games. You can make plant bars. You can make the bird feeders. You can make fashion. This is not upcycled fashion. But check out Junk Couture and they have all sorts of fashion. So upcycling. Bring your trash into class and make something out of it. Don't bring in fancy art supplies. Make something out of it. Make a game, make a toy. Photography. Who doesn't have one of these? Who doesn't have a phone, you know? Of course, we can't all be incredible, wonderful, professional photographers like the wonderful Hema Galan, as you can see here. She took this photo to talk all about the, the issue of plastic surrounding the world. We can't all do that. But we can all show things. We can all show our own art with our photography. So... Use your photography, use your student photography, and guess what? You can upload images to uh, changemakersworld.live. Toilet paper rolls, brilliant Elizabeth, love that idea. Then of course, letter writing campaigns. This focuses a lot, a lot on writing. You know, we need to do these writings in, in English. We need to do them for our exams. These can focus on the language. You don't have to focus you know, always everything on, you know, this is all about sustainability. No, you can use it as a language focus as well. We're teaching sustainability through language. We are, you know, we're focusing on English with sustainability, with letter writing campaigns like this one, again, from Kids Against Plastic. They're writing to the CEO of Tesco to remove plastic from the front of magazines. You could do these campaigns. You can join these campaigns. You can check that out on the uh, Kids Against Plastic website. Don't worry, three more to go. And remember the hashtag, change makers world. You don't have to sing it, but you can. Plant-based recipes. So try and focus on a, maybe try and have a meat-free Monday at your school. Get your students to share their ideas of what they've made, a plant-based idea. That looks kind of funny, doesn't it? I made it in my car. More about that soon. The most colourful meal. Do you remember that lettuce I showed you just a moment ago? Here it is. The class cut their lettuce. They shared, They each had a lettuce and we had a competition who could make the most colourful meal. This one didn't win. This was actually in third or fourth place. It doesn't have to be a competition, of course. It can just be a contribution. So make sure your students are enjoying that. And when you have colour, colour usually means vegetables. Vegetables are great for your well-being. They are great for your... For your, mind, uh, for your mind, they are great for your body, but they are also great for the planet. And then, Caster Chef. Hmm, what's Caster Chef, Harry? Well, this one's a bit of a weird one, okay? I'll admit that. Caster Chef is when you cook using something that is in your oven. Use the heat of the sun. You can see me there in my car cooking in Caster Chef. I'm going to jump over here and I'll show you it live in action. Um, but first, I'll show you a litter pick. It was only fine doing the world. And then caster chef. Now you can do this with your own pizza boxes. Of course, you can make your own pizza box ovens. Um, obviously, it doesn't want to load right now, so I can't actually show you. you can take out on my on my Feel free to go there. Renewable English. All of the caster chef ideas are on there, um, and they're just there's lots of fun ideas on there. But there's there aren't that many ideas on, on Renewable English. Where you will find loads of ideas is changemakersworld.live. 
check it out and please upload your ideas so your students can see themselves being seen. Because there's nothing like being seen and being heard to help um, boost your own confidence uh, and everything out there. Now, I'll leave this up here for a moment. If you would like to get in touch, do find me on, on LinkedIn. I'm active there. I'm active on um, on Instagram. That was it. And of course, you can find all my social media, etc. there. Check it out. I'm going to stop sharing this now. So take a screenshot in five, four, three, two, one. Unsharing and back to my main man, Mr. Rickson. My goodness gracious, Mr. Waters, please take a breath. While you're breathing, and please everyone, I don't know if you realize, but in Zoom now, we've got this fascinating feature where you can do the emojis. Could everyone put an emoji in there for Harry? Any emoji you would like to communicate to him for that. And someone put it in the chat box. I'd like to reiterate that that is, that is what passion looks like. That is exactly what passion is. And it was just beautiful, Harry. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, it was one of the emojis. There you go. That's what you can yeah, look at that. It was just incredible. So the, the reaction and the, uh, the communication from everybody there in the chat box was wonderful. I, I was trying, I was trying to focus, but I was also trying to read everything at the same time. And it's just wonderful that there are so many people here with this image and, and being able to, to share these ideas is just, just brilliant. Brilliant. I mean, a round of applause. Absolutely. You could turn your mic on if you like it. Is it just us? Well, we've got the it was just us. That's just a hundred other people. Oh, yeah, yeah, just one and a half thousand people there, and us. But on the end, great, just absolutely brilliant, Harry. And thank you for the ideas. I think that was really important. So, the Change Breakers World is just an amazing initiative, and I think it it's a slightly new concept. I think sharing something that isn't a large scale project. For a start um and i think those ideas have really they certainly have for me and i think i speak for a lot of people when i say this really um and put it into context to really help them understand from create ideas about what they can actually do small or i mean you said it just then about having a garden and not everyone has got a garden that they can plant stuff in and uh, especially not a teacher of, of a group of students they're not going to give away their own space and find that space but just to go plant in the classroom and then shout into the world about that and how well it's gone and what it's done for the school. Small or big. That's the time. Absolutely. Cool, and the emojis are still going, and I love those. It's just it's such a feel good thing. So, um, yeah, Harry, we've got a couple of questions. Do you have, do you have time? So, the one second question. Right. So, there's one, actually, one thing that um, you're welcome to answer as well, but I wanted to make it clear because a couple of people have asked, can I upload, um, what, what can I upload? Can I, can I put a podcast up there? Uh, could I put an interview? Could I put a video? Um, and I've, I just wanted to make sure you can put, I've actually got a list of file types here. There are various things you can put up there. Basically any, any format you can think of is fine. So a PDF, uh, an image, a static image, uh, and a, an MP3 file, an MP4 file. So sound and video, a PDF, if it's kind of a document. As well, you can put that up there. Kind of any anything you can think of to communicate your idea is fine. Um, Even the URL, if it's up already on some other website, you can put the URL in there, and it will it will share that as well. It's uh, it's it's amazing. It really is genuinely amazing. I'm so excited and honoured to have been able to share that with the world. Well, you and Amina, and there's no better people, I think, to introduce this this concept and you for. Just, I mean, you've probably part of change makers and the vast futures uh, for ages, and it's you. You're the man for the job, Harry. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, so we have got some actual questions, and we just uh, have a look here. Um, firstly, how do you keep yourself motivated? Um, the fact it, it's all all down to to my students and the, the teachers I work with 100% because you, know, you can look at the world and you can look at it with the glasses of everything's doom and gloom but you can also look at it in the way that look how many people are here look there's 1,500 people here who want to go out there and make a difference and that's just like such a small amount if I know there's 
at least one person who wants to listen or one person who wants to make a difference, I will be positive. I will continue. Like, as long as there's one person listening, then, then I will never stop. And we've got another question asking for your email address. Did you put your email address or was it your website? Yeah. Well, they, they they can help both. They're both quite easy. It's it's uh, uh it's renewableenglish. Oh, hold on, hold on. Can I guess? Can I guess? Is it Harry at renewableenglish dot com? It look at that. You're a genius. Thanks. Nothing to do with my fact that I've emailed. You may have emailed me in the past. Good stuff. Well, I think Harry, we're gonna we're gonna put put the brakes on. Before we do, you don't have to go. Anywhere. It's up to you if you if you if you stay or you go. Um, I'll, I'll I'll fade off into the ether. You're going to fade out. Out. Why do you do that? Well, I'm not sure how to fade out. I can turn off my camera though. That is something that Zoom is missing out on though. It, you it need a better Zoom out. habit to fade out of a of a Zoom meeting. That'd be awesome. Thank you so much for having me, and I'll see you again later. Thanks a lot, Harry. Pleasure to have you as always. Um, okay, so you can see on my screen. I'm hoping you see on my screen. Just going to double check. Yes. This is Changemakers. Changemakers is now live. It's been launched today. You can go to the site now and start exploring, applying some ideas. There are already some projects up there, uh, but I'm sure I don't need to tell you this. Um, but because it's just launched, we need to start populating the website in order for it to grow. You're the first people that have heard of this website, and if it's something you feel you can contribute to, and it's something that you're inclined to contribute to, please go ahead and do it. There's some help on that website for you. There's loads of resources as well. If you, if you scan down the page, there's a link to the Advanced and Futures page that I mentioned earlier. It's got loads of resources that you can use as sort of a springboard for ideas, or you can sort of develop the, the whole lesson around that and then uh, upload some kind of output from the students from that lesson. Um, but please do start using that website as soon as you like. Um, it's, it's not going anywhere. Uh, start using it whenever you like um, now. Changemakers World. There's a QR code to scan. That's the website. I think we put it in the chip box and we put it in there again. That's the website. Do take a look and uh, enjoy the start of something absolutely awesome.